Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be washing my hair. It's been a long time since I updated you guys on my current curly hair routine. So today's the day that I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I do when I wash my hair. What products I use. Unfortunately, I ran out of my favorite hair products. But we are going to be using something that's also really great. So, uh, so far, I really love it. So, we're going to go ahead and dive right into here, into the video. So, let's go ahead and get on to the video. So, as you guys know, I always wear my hair in a braid because I don't wash my hair as often. You guys know I, I kind of wash my hair every like once or two times a month. So I have yet to wash my hair. It's been about three weeks since I've washed my hair. So, um, yeah, my hair doesn't really need of a detangle because it's so, like, I don't know how to explain it. So you guys can see. You guys can tell, you guys can tell when I need to wash my hair if you guys ever see my hair. If my hair looks straight like this, it's time to wash my hair. So it's that time. Trying to make it like so you guys can see like my whole entire hair. So this one right here it looks like you guys can see it. It goes to my knees. I can't even get the camera. You see that? So I'm gonna wash my hair. You guys see how long it is? So we're gonna go ahead and wash my hair. And I'm gonna show you guys the product lineup before I even start. Today I'm gonna be using the gentle clarifying shampoo right here and this is from bounce curl i really love this this is going to be my second time using this and i really like it in my hair the next one i'm going to be using is this hair detox mask because like i said i haven't washed my hair in a minute so this one i really love because you could actually feel the apple cider vinegar and in my hair so i really like that so i'm going to use this hair mask and then we're going to go ahead and use this deep conditioner yeah, we're going to deep condition my hair as well. And after that, I'm going to use a little bit. We'll see how this works. I'm going to use this leave-in. I can't. I ran out of the leave-in that I normally use. Like I said, I use, normally use Retro Rich. But we're going to use this one. But I'm kind of nervous to see how this will play out. But I might not put a leave-in in my hair. I might just go ahead and use a clump of Define Cream and then go into the cream gel, which is these two. I'm going to try these two. This video is not sponsored. It just so happened that I have... The Bounce Curl products, I'm going to go ahead and use it because I haven't used them in a hot minute. So we're going to go ahead and start this curly routine, but yeah. This is my hair, guys. This is what my hair looks like. Can you see how dry it is? My scalp is really dirty. You guys can see my scalp is in need of a... Yeah. It's a need. It's a need. Look at this. But yeah, so let's... Alright guys, so I'm starting off with the Bounce Curl Clarifying Shampoo and what I like about this is that it has a nozzle at the top and it's easy for me to go into my scalp like so and I just really like this one because it's so easy to maneuver into my scalp and I just overall like the Clarifying Shampoo. It does help clean my scalp a lot. I ended up doing this twice to my hair because you guys know I didn't wash my hair for about three weeks already so my hair is in need of a second wash so that's what I like to do I like to wash my hair twice so now I'm just massaging my scalp and I just like to work the product into my scalp a lot more and I just massage my scalp because my scalp is in need of a massage as well so I like to do that when I'm shampooing my hair and I just like to do that just to get the blood flowing through my scalp you know So I went ahead and put shampoo a second time and as you guys can see, you can see so much more suds in my hair and that's because, like I said, I like to wash my hair twice with the shampoo because my hair, I feel like it really needs it, especially since I haven't washed my hair in three weeks. So yeah, that's what I am doing. And if you guys follow me for a while, you guys know that I don't like to put shampoo at the midsection to the ends of my hair. My hair just automatically will have the shampoo when I rinse my hair out. So I just, you know, I just let the suds fall through when I wash my hair. But you'll never see me actually put shampoo on the midsection to the ends of my hair. I always focus shampoo on my scalp. 
But anyways, this clarifying shampoo was so soapy. Like, you guys can see that. I was literally playing. I felt like a little kid when I was playing with the suds. <laughs> it was just so much in my hair. I don't even think I put too much. I know that every time I shampoo my hair a second time, that always happens. But I just thought it was fun. <laughs> so moving on to the turmeric hair detox mask. This one, guys, works really well in my scalp. You can literally feel it penetrating your scalp when you apply it. And I think it's because of the ACV. And it also has charcoal in it and I really love all the benefits that it has for your hair so I like to put this from the roots all the way to the ends of my hair and this one I try to go a little goes a long way but I do have a lot of hair so I try to like you know soak my hair with this product because it's just so good I just love how my hair feels right after I wash it, it just feels squeaky clean and like I said, this is the second time of me using it and I think I have one more time with this bottle and then there's no more left of this product. <laughs> but I tried to use it as best as I can, not wasting it. But you know, I had to coat my hair with the product and I just absolutely love it like I said guys. So now I'm just going to wait 12 minutes, just like the instruction says, and then I'm just going to rinse it out. Now the last product that I'm using is the deep conditioner. Now this one I used at the midsection to the ends of my hair, and then I would follow it up onto the roots of my hair. But like I said, I like to focus conditioner towards the midsections to the ends of my hair, and sometimes I do do the top, but you won't catch me putting a whole bunch of conditioner at the top of my hair. Only because I notice that it's extra drying at the end, so I like to focus towards the middle to the ends of my hair when it comes to conditioner, especially deep conditioner. I like to apply it on those areas of my hair. So now I'm just putting some of the deep conditioner at the top of my hair and like I said I don't like to put too much at the top. You notice that I only put like a sparing amount and then I went ahead towards the midsection to the ends of my hair. But like I said conditioner goes throughout my whole entire head but like I said I like to focus in the midsection to the ends of my hair when it comes to conditioners. So now what I'm doing is parting my hair down the middle because that's the way I detangle my hair. I have to split it down the middle and you guys can see that the deep conditioner isn't really a good detangler. Um, I just noticed that when I applied the deep conditioner it wasn't really helping my hair at all when it came to detangling but maybe because it's a deep conditioner, I'm not sure. But for me it didn't really work well in my hair when it came to detangling but overall the product itself was nice in my hair but if you're looking for something to detangle this deep conditioner is not it so i'm just adding a little bit more of the deep conditioner to see if it will help detangle my hair because like i said i like to section my hair to get it ready for me to detangle and i did notice that um, when i added a little bit more water it did kind of help with the detangling like i said i wouldn't rely on this being your set detangler because it was pretty hard for me to detangle my hair especially just sectioning it with my fingers but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that just in case you're like oh okay maybe i could go to this for a detangler but for me it didn't really help much when it came to detangling my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and detangle my hair off camera. You guys know this is my favorite wide tooth comb. So I just got out of the shower and I put the same shirt because I doubled my shirt because I don't want my original shirt to get wet so I always use my husband's shirt. <laughs> but anyways, you guys can't see how long my hair is. Uh, maybe I could step back so you guys can see. Sorry, cords over there. All right, maybe you guys can see. I was gonna do twists for my hair, but then I just decided, you know what, let me just curl my hair one time for the one time, because I don't normally wear my hair curly. So we're gonna see how it is. It's been a minute since I did that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my towel here. And I'm just gonna dry it. And I know a lot of you guys are going to ask about this towel. I got this towel from Lexi Marcial. I think I said her name right. But if not, I'll just put everything in the 
I'll put the link to her towel down below. I don't know if she's still making it. I know she just recently had a baby. Sorry, Cora got scared. She doesn't like the red panel. She scared me. I thought she saw a spider or something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to go and style my hair right now. So I was going to use my leave-in, but I'm afraid that this isn't going to be compatible with the curl cream. So I'm just going to jump into the curl cream instead from Bounce Curl. And then I'm going to go ahead with the leave-in. So this is what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna open it and just show you guys what it looks like. Just a cream right here. All right guys, so I sectioned my hair at the back. So I have two areas here that I can apply the product. So I'm gonna be working on the right side first and I'm just gonna apply the clump cream from Bounce Curl. Sorry, it's blurry. It'll focus soon, but I just wanna let you guys know that I'm just applying the clump cream from Bounce Curl. I haven't used this product in a while, so um, what I'm doing is adding it to the midsections to the ends of my hair and then at the top as well I had to grab my clip and clip the half of my hair up out of the way because I couldn't get into the roots of my hair when applying the cream So yeah, I'm just applying like I said the cream into my hair and overall I like the clump cream It's kind of thick into my hair and then once I applied the clump cream, I did apply the bounce curl gel into my hair and both products worked really well together. It did not have like a leftover residue in my hair. It blended really nicely. gel into my hair and like this I'm just gonna go from here all the way to the ends focusing so that each bit each strand of my hair is you know and the one thing that I'm really cautious conscious cautious cautious about is when I apply like the cream and with a gel, if it starts to crumble in my hair, if you guys know what I mean. I hate when that happens, so I don't see it happening with these two products, but I know sometimes some products, even though they're the same line, they don't mesh well together. So um, I would keep that in mind when applying products. Um, try to see how it is when you put it in your hand and wipe it off and then put another product and see how it is. Cause sometimes the products, they end up causing like you can actually see the product in your hair and it's not going in right. No! It's dead! I feel like my hair doesn't really curl like it's supposed to anymore because it's so long. Look at that. Yes, Cora, all done? No! It's so I'm just splitting my hair and just applying product. The same, repeating, make sure that I hydrate inside as well as the ends because my ends most likely and the inside of my hair get dry super fast and that's where it gets matted the most so if I don't put enough product that's what will happen so I just gotta make sure that I go inside my hair alright oh, this clip is hurting me 
So I'm just going to keep sectioning my hair like this. Grab more product. And sorry guys, the lighting. I'm in my bathroom and I try to see if the lighting's great, but it doesn't seem like it is. Making sure I put a lot of product at the ends, like I said, guys, you gotta do that. And then, I feel like there's no use in me using a brush to try to get my curls, because like I said, my hair is so weighted down for my hair like that. It doesn't even curl like it. Normally it would just curl. Even if I turn my hair with the brush, let's see. Like, it doesn't even... No, it's like telling me now. We're not even gonna do it now. So we're just gonna do whatever my hair is telling you to do. If my hair wants to do its thing, then let it do its thing. <laughs> so last piece of hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the product here. My ends first. That, and then I'm just gonna go to the top with the leftover product. And I'm just gonna take out this part because I don't like when it dries and then my parts like that. So I'm just gonna comb my hair back. Like, just use my fingers. I shouldn't have used a comb, but I'm gonna flip my hair over just to. And I'm gonna apply some of this gel. Just so that the back has part and then the front a little bit. And I'm just gonna let it do its thing. So that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let my hair dry. I know it's gonna take probably a couple hours. And then I'll come back and show you guys the final results of my hair. So yeah. Alright guys, so this is the outcome of my hair. It's a little bit wet still, but it's pretty much dry. So this is my hair. I noticed that because I haven't been styling my hair so much, that my hair is pretty much not really curling anymore. It's more like wavy, if you guys see. Or it could just be my hair is heavy. But I'm pretty sure it's because I haven't really been styling my hair. Um, some areas of my hair I do is curly, but most of it's like wavy. So I'm pretty sure it's because like I said, I've just been braiding my hair constantly. I haven't really been styling it. So I'm thinking I do need to style my hair more. My hair normally looks like this. If you guys can see. My hair normally looks like this. But so far, if you guys see, my hair is kind of like this. It's like straight. But that's probably because I haven't really been styling my hair. But I think because my hair is so long and heavy. Um... My hair, yeah. So, I'm gonna show you guys the whole full shot. That's pretty much it, guys. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my updated curly hair routine. And I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, bye, guys.